Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at something I like to call reverse toxic croak. We're going to be using poison jab instead of counter and dynamic punch instead of sludge bomb. So we're going to kind of like do a little flip a as far as the charge moves and the quick move. And why would I want to do such a thing? Well, poison jab was buffed. It's getting stabbed from it as well as dynamic punch. Of course, you could put in a lot of work with that move. And I just wanted to see how it goes. Now, uh, from the experience here, you're going to see uh, a couple of, ex of examples where the poison jab absolutely, uh, without a doubt, helped me take the win and as well as the dynamic punch. And there is many examples as when uh, the uh, counter would be helping me, for instance, up against this Diggersby here. Uh, now, one move you're going to maintain on this Toxic Croak if you s decide to do this is going to be Mud Bomb. You, you need that move, period, okay? So uh, just keep it. If you want to go Sludge Bomb, Dynamic Punch, eh, probably not the best idea. Just stick to the Mud Bomb and Dynamic Punch, and then, of course, the Poison Jab. Now, uh, before we get into the full commentary here, i just like to always give you my quick thoughts before we jump into this, and that is going to be... Uh, you want to stick to the original Toxic Croak, simple as that. This one works, and you're going to see it's going to be going up against Azu's, and the Dynamic Punch comes in clutch for us. But I feel like it, it is getting a, it's a little better with its original moveset. So uh, no discredit to its current move here. We're going to see how it does perform. And also another thing, this is why you do not rush videos on YouTube, okay? I know when that news gets out, you know, you want to get it out as fast as I can. Uh, but uh, what happened was I put in the wrong Meloetta's moveset, so uh, forgive me for that. It actually has better moves than it uh, what we actually took a look at. It's uh, still not really making it like super, super, super great, but it's going to be having better moves. Uh, also, I did not mention that uh, Shadow Ho-Oh is going to be put on the map as far as uh, one of the best flying type attackers. There's going to be other options, cheaper options to go with for sure, uh, but it's definitely something to mention. I just thought I'd let you guys know. So, hmm uh no rushing anyways with that said i think this is a very good time to start the commentary here up against the azumarill here with the poison jab but we're swapping wow <laughs> of course i do but i completely trusted myself for what i did there swapping into swamper shielding it up farming a whole bunch here going to go for the sludge wave now jellicent will give this team some trouble that's for sure uh mud bomb is neutral uh, dazzling gleam which we're going to actually team away uh, or TM onto the Alola Ninetales. We're actually going to be going with Psy Shock for a little bit. I decide to just remove it and go with Dazzling Gleam, and it does really help me out quite a bit. We're also going to be changing up the lead here. I switch it up and just see what we can get going on. Uh, and another situation where having counter would just be absolutely amazing going up against an Umbreon. I bet you so many people were smiling when they realized it had Poison Jab. They're like, oh, thank goodness. Uh, you'll see here in a little bit up against an Alolan sand slash uh, you know that it's going to be steel and ice so counter is going to absolutely rip and tear it uh, but we have poison jab so it's resisted oh it's all bad anyways got the swamper league going on up against the azumarill here we're going to go ahead and just build up to the sludge wave in case they let it go they will survive so yeah definitely not really needing to use a shield uh, swapping into toxicroak not necessarily trying to catch but trying to you know, build up some energy here, farming down. They're not going to be able to get to another charge. They're swapping and locking themselves. And here we go. This is exactly why you want Mud Bomb on your Toxic Croak, no matter what moveset you do have uh, regarding the quick move or the secondary charge move. So we are, yeah, looking pretty good. Letting this go through. Uh, it was a little quick for uh, the charge move, so Poison Fang. Not very effective, but it is a Shadow Needle Queen. It is starting to add up here. Getting both of the shields with the Mud Bomb, and that's great. We got the Swampert on hand, so we also have the Ninetales, but I don't think we really want to throw the Ninetales up against the uh, Poison user, so we're going to go ahead and bring in the Swampert that just needed one more quick move to get off the Hydro Cannon, taking out the Nido Queen. No more shields, and we have one left. We can do quite a bit with a Shadow Swampert and a Alola Ninetales. Swapping into our Ninetales to catch this Ice Beam. Thought this was pretty clutch. Not very effective. Very nice. They're going to be retreating from our Ninetales yet again with their Azumarill. Well, last time it was the... Uh, Toxicroak, and we are looking good. See, this is exactly why I want Dazzling Gleam. There's no more Psy Shock here. We're going to be going with this one uh, from here on out for all these battles here. Psy Shock, why I was running it for the few battles that I did have, I was trying to consider the poison types that I would be going up against. But then I was thinking, you know, we have Mud Bomb with Toxicroak. We have Resistance. We have Ninetales with Ice Moves. More than likely would run into a Nidoqueen or something like that. 
So uh, Swampert as well. There's no need to overkill with the Psy Shock. So we just went with the Play Rough. Long enough explanation. <laughs> okay. And we're off into the next battle up against an Azumarill. So uh, when you are going with Counter, Counter is resisted by Azumarill with the buff Poison Jab. As you can see, it is really adding up here. Now, if you did have Sludge Bomb, obviously, that uh, would be fantastic. But... We're going to have to just stick with those mud bombs with neutral. I'm going to go ahead and shield up this play rough, which is neutral damage. And we are shieldless. They are bringing in a hip now. So we're going to go ahead and throw our mud bomb here, trying to calculate what in the heck I'm going to do. Swap into nine tails. Nope, we're just going to go down because what we're going to do if we do swap is lock ourselves. They could counter us. We're better off just letting them sh uh, farm us down. I mean, it's not that much of a farm, right? Bring it in the nine tails here and up against the hypno which is pretty tanky they're shielding it up they built up a lot of energy on the hypno back there so uh we're going to go ahead and swap into our swampert which already had a little bit of energy built up this is not going to ko we should be able to farm down oh i'm not a, what am i talking about i thought it had a little bit more health okay uh shadow ball is gonna you know be bad or a, okay a focus blast so there you go there was a lot of energy exposed there we're going to be able to get to another weather ball with our nine tails and take the win here with this team you're going to see some clutch plays with the tox croak although you've seen a few examples here it's not you're definitely putting in work uh for the next battle we're met with a metacham okay eh, this is all right i suppose we just got to make sure we uh shield up a psychic i suppose ice punches is also going to do a lot of damage so what I originally wanted to do in this specific situation here was uh, catch that Ice Punch with the Ninetales, but I was a little slow here, so we might as well just put on some more pressure and retreat into the Ninetales now. Uh, since we still do have two shields, they have one, and I'm guessing Power Up Punch and... Oh, never mind. It's a psychic. Okay, there you go. Proven wrong every single time I open my mouth here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go for the play rough that we've built up onto the Azumarill. They've got one shield left, and we still have a full health Toxicroak. And I mean, it's a good Pokemon. If they have, say, like a Skarmory in the back, and down goes the uh, Lola Ninetales, and say the Swampert has very, very low health, it's, it's not going to look good. If you're able to get it, two Dynamic Punches through onto the Skarmory, yeah, that's actually going to be really nice for you. So we're farming down <laughs> that Azumarill. See, Poison Jab, putting in some work here. And now we're loaded up on energy. What are they going to do? Coming here with the Meganium. And this is Clutch. So what they did was they uh, obviously are catching the Dynamic Punch with their Metacham, which was a very good play. But you know what I have to say to that? Two can play this game. You want to you wanna catch? Okay, I got you, buddy boy. I got you over here. So we're going to go ahead and catch with the Swampert. Oh, yeah, exactly. We still have a shield left. And... They're building up a lot of energy. We resist the Frenzy Plant. They back out there. Okay, good game. Uh, we resist the Frenzy Plant, but uh, Earthquake, right? So, Meganium charges up at a decent rate with that uh, Vine Whip. Into the next battle, we're met with a Swampert Shadow. We've got the Mirror Match going on here. And I didn't feel too comfortable in this because of the whole sneaking a quick move through. Okay? Uh, like we've discussed before, it's not a real feature. Uh, it's definitely at a disadvantage for some players because it works with some phones better than others uh, so that's just a definite um, obvious red flag that it's not a real feature so we're swapping into our nine tails here to just catch like i said i was getting a little nervous probably could have just stayed there uh, what happened was they wanted to commit two shields and i didn't want to do that quite yet but it's really not looking good for me at this point because of that so here we are uh shieldless because we shielded up that last one up against the Azumarill, getting that play rough through. Yeah, we could have gotten off a Weather Ball, but whatever. Might as well just go in here with Toxicroak and farm as much as we can. Now, the only bad thing would be if they had Hydro Pump. Uh, play rough's not going to KO. Ice Beam's not going to KO. But if a Hydro Pump comes through, then it's GG. So let's see. It is going to be an Ice Beam. Fantastic. Can we farm down from this <laughs> from this point? Yes, we can. Here you go. Toxicroak. Here we go. Highlighted. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Mud Bomb here. And Metacham, we're going to go ahead and just swap. Still have a lot of energy on the... This is basically a G, a G. So Toxicroak is loaded up on energy. We're going to go ahead and take this thing out. When the Swampert does come in, we're going to build up, I do believe, like maybe two Poison Jabs to get to the Dynamic Punch, which is going to KO the Swampert. Now, if you did have, say, Sludge Bomb, that's not very effective. So Dynamic Punch is coming in clutch here for us. And we're able to take the win. Looking good on that Shadow Swampert. So there you go. Uh, Toxicroak reversed is looking good. See, you like that little image I got there on the thumbnail on the side, the pink one? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so Aromatist. This was very interesting, and it put a smile on my face. I was like, finally, a charm user. Let's go. 
I want to see this Toxic Cove really put in some work. Maybe we can match it up because as soon as they see it, you already know they're going to retreat. We're getting both shields and down goes our Swamper. It's okay. So this is what we have planned for this team here. Mm, sneak in a little few of my thoughts really quick. Uh, when the Swamper goes down, well, what, ha what happens if they have a Steel type? Or, you know, something else. Weak to ground. Well, we have the Mud Bomb and we have Dynamic Punch. We're good. <laughs> so we are going to swap into our Ninetales here up against the Metacham. Just fearing the... Uh, psychic, but it looks like they may have power up punch and ice punch So their best bet at this point is just to keep going power up punch and just make themselves stronger with the quick move So down they go and they have a bastodon in the back. Oh I wonder what's gonna happen for this battle here folks So the nine tails is obviously gonna easily go down here not too much farm no shields immediately going for the dynamic punch This is gonna be clutch here toxic croak reverse. Okay, in comes the Romatis. We're doing some super effective with the Poison Jab, getting to the Mud Bomb, which is neutral, and taking them out. Okay, let's get it. Now, like I said, there's going to be some of these battles where Counter and Sludge Bomb would have been better, and there's going to be clearly battles where the Poison Jab and Dynamic Punch were absolutely amazing for us. But here's the thing about that statement. It's kind of funny because you could almost do the same thing with those moves because you, you have the same typings going on there's just a little bit of a different balance see uh you just yeah you, you know what i mean right, anyways let's get back into the commentary here before i get off into some like uh, random rabbit hole discussion so up against the jealousy here and this is not so great for my team although the swampert's hydro cannon is still hurting it quite a bit I uh, do believe it's like three Hydro Cannons to take out a Jellicent, and that's pretty uh, disgusting just thinking about it, right? That just shows you the power of it. Oh, here we are, like we described in the uh, beginning of the video, up against the Sand Slash. Having Counter, he would just have been absolutely amazing. And the Swampert is not the healthiest, so the reason for my Toxico going in here first, I do believe we go in with the Toxico first, because at this point, I'm just thinking, well, they're going to spam me with Ice Punch. Yeah, we go, that makes sense. Uh, letting it go. Yeah, just using it as a meat shield, unfortunately. Sorry, uh, Swampert. And Bulldoze is a threat, right? But I don't, they don't have Bulldoze right now, uh, as far as the energy is concerned. And this was way too quick. This is another Ice Punch. But we do shield it up because this is all we've got. And in comes the Surf Fetch. We, we had a bad lead uh, because of the Leaf Blade and how fast it can charge up with counter and uh, the energy cost for Leaf Blade, and I back out in a Rage right there. Good game to my opponent. And moving on to our next one here, starting it off with Nine Tails, and we're met with a Ferrothorn. Okay. And this is not the best. If they have Flash Cannon, well, obviously, that's going to be GG's. Uh, as far as this matchup is concerned, Thunder is also going to hurt. Power Whip, I, I, I don't know why I'm talking about those. Power Whip is what they're going to want to go for. I was thinking we're resisting it for some reason. So, yeah, Power Whip here. Yep, as you can see, Ferrothorn does not mess around. So uh, I don't know if we shield this. All right, we keep it alive. Could have, I, I think I really wanted to catch with Toxic Croak, but here's the thing. I don't want them to retreat with it. I want to take it out here and now because I don't want it to be matched up with my Swampert later. So now that that thing is out of the way, uh, if we can land this, we're going to be looking golden here. Oh, they shielded it up. Okay. It's not the worst case scenario in the world, but it is not the best. We're going to have to make the best of it. So going in here with the Swampert, fearing a Hydro Pump. Ice Beam. Okay, fantastic. And they're still going here. This is going to be another Ice Beam. So we, I think, shield this up. Now, if they shield up this Azumarill again, there's clearly something potentially weak to Toxic Croak back there. And if that is the case, I think I'm going to... Yeah, we're going to swap here. Gain a little bit more energy. Swap into Swampert. That's fine. Play rough. Fine. More than likely, you should just go Ice Beam, right? Oh, for her, there's that Hydro Pump. We survive, and we get to the Hydro Cannon. I don't hit these because you know why? We want to go in here with Toxic Croak and farm. They know this. So what they do is swap into their Vigoroth. We're able to get to the Dynamic Punch. Folks, here you go. Reverse Toxic Croak, putting in some real wins here, and we're able to farm down. Beautiful. That was a clear uh, underlying definition of you do like that moveset in that situation, right? So we're up against the Galarian Stunfisk. Absolutely horrific. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Toxic Croak here. We don't want to go full counter. And they're going into a zoom roll. I, like I said, I would just love to see the reaction of everybody when they realize I have Poison Jab. Uh, I wonder how many people are like, idiot. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing. 
uh, or whatever the case may be. I, I'm, I, I'm not saying that's a reaction to everybody. Right? Anyway, uh, this is great. So we had a decent matchup with the Galarian uh, Stunfisk because of our moves. They swap into Azumarill. We're looking good again and we beat it. Do you see the work that it's putting in? If that Dynamic Punch connects, it does about, I'd say, 40, 40%, 45% health. A good amount, okay? So... We're looking great. This is an awesome moveset for this thing, uh, specifically because the Poison Jab was buffed, right? That's really this whole experiment here. And we're just having fun because this season, to me, is a joke. So we're swapping to catch this uh, Rock Slide here. A lot of catching in this video. A lot of really good catches. Nice. And we're basically looking really good at this point. So, yeah, we're going to build up to two Hydro Cannons because they're going to shield this, right? Or if they want to shield this when we have two... Okay, they're letting it go. Makes sense. Makes sense. In comes the Skarmory. And we already have another one. Going to get the shield from them. Ninetales still has a decent amount of health and it does put on the pressure. We get to the Hydro Cannon, but they're getting to their charge move, unfortunately, here. And we're just going to come in. Weather Ball. This Weather Ball is not going to be enough. Wow, wow, wow. What a close battle. Everything did great. One more Powder Snow. We take the win. Fantastic. They were very close to hitting that Sky Attack. So good game on that one. And we're off into the next battle. Could the lead get any better? Up against Alterio with our Ninetales. They're swapping into a Politoed. And this is me being indecisive right here. Do I actually have a 100% plan as to what I should do? No, not quite. Not quite yet. It really depends on if they shield or, or not. If they do shield, it's not like the worst. And if they let it go through, it is also great. Because we can figure out the situation. So what we're doing is letting them throw their energy. Bringing in Toxicroak, and this is certainly not an Earthquake or a Blizzard, so we're fine letting it go. Although it still does a lot, like we've discussed before, Politoed's broken, they need to fix it. Well, I mean, it's very spammy. It is very spammy. Hitting the Dynamic Punch on the Galarian Stunfisk, are you kidding me? Getting to the Mud Bomb, they've got energy, they're just building up over there. Shielding it up, looks like they're farming down, yeah, that's the plan. Good good uh, farm down there on the... Uh, Toxic Croak. So they used a shield. Bring it in Swampert here. Now we're letting this go. Calling a Rock Slide. Very nice. And I'm expecting an Earthquake now because they're about to go down. Right? Oh, another bait. Maybe they didn't have the energy. Okay. And in comes Altaria. We go Sludge Wave here and we're just... Well, we're looking good. We're going to be able to win this here. Getting that through. Swapping into Ninetales. And there's nothing they can do even if they had 400 shields because we're just farming them down. Good game. Alrighty, folks, on to the next battle here. We're going to be seeing a Jellicent up against our Alolan Ninetales. This is fine. This is the ideal lead, I suppose. If anything, uh, it's not going to be great up against the other two that I have. Well, not looking good for me. So we're getting off that Dazzling Gleam and connecting it. The plan is to just let this first move go through. Who cares? It is a Shadow Ball. Ninetales can take hits like a champion in in the uh, Ultra League and in the Great League. The thing is amazing, right? So going for a Weather Ball. And it's not quite KOing. Unfortunately, we're not able to take him out. But what we can do is... Uh, do we go Toxic Croak? Oh, oh, they under... Oh! Ooh, so what happened there? Let me explain. They tried to undertap just enough for them to farm us down. But they undertapped a little too much. Or Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. And uh, they didn't do enough damage. Not enough to farm us down. And we we're able to take that win. Yeesh. It happens. I've done those uh, mistakes before. So they're swapping into a Scrafty. Uh, they're not actually catching. They're going to shield this. If I landed that, how amazing would that have been? So we are going to be going into our Swampert up against it. Which is great because, well, we don't want to see Ferroth. We want nothing to do with that quick move when we're Shadow Swampert. Water and ground. They're going for a Power of Punch. Okay, sounds good to me. We still have two shields and everything can poke. Hey, 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 bud. Do you think it's time to use your shields? Well, just wait. Just watch. You'll see. I got this all under control. Okay. All right. So we got two shields left. We have a resistance to the quick move. Ferrothorn does charge at a decent rate. But there's no way in heck they're going to be getting to three of those uh, uh, power webs. There's no way. Right. So we're going to go ahead and um, do our thing here. Shielding up the first one. And the bullet seed just tickling the Toxic Oak over here. It's just eating them for snacks as it throws it at him. Uh, and we're going to go for another Mud Bomb here. And we're looking golden. Taking the win up against Ferrothor. And that's why we saved the two shields. Yeah, Chef's Kiss. Let's go. And we're off to the next battle. And here we are up against Galarian Stunfisk. We're going to swap into Toxicroak. We've seen this familiar battle before, huh? 
So if they go for Rock Slide, that's not very effective and a nice bait. And it is an Earthquake. Good call on my end. That would have been bad. Swapping into Sableye. We're going to go ahead and throw Dynamic Punch because it is uh, neutral. It says not very effective, but it's part dark. So eh, it's doing a lot of damage to the Sableye. So it's pretty nice. And we're letting the Foul Play go through. Able to get to another. Wow, we had the Dynamic Punch. We're just too chicken, huh? Guess you can't uh, do it all. It's all good. So what we're going to do is go in here with the uh, Nine Tails, of course, and... I think we want to not farm it down. I was thinking we may have wanted to farm down. And for some reason, I thought they may have been somewhat close to a return, but I don't think they were at all. So that's okay. Uh, they're going to be going into the Galarian Stunfist. We're going to be going into our Swamper right here. We got that shield. Beautiful. And we're shielding this up. All right. They baited us. Okay. And swapping into what the... I, I, sorry, I could not see what that was. The Shadow Swamper is in my... What's a Mew? Okay, so we're great. We're golden because we have so much energy. And since we did build up a little bit of extra energy, here we go. And getting to another one to take out the Galarian Stunfist. Swamper taking the spotlight away from the Reverse Toxicroak. Let's go. Not, not every battle Toxicroak is going to be coming in clutch for us with this moveset, that's for sure, right? So we're met with a Machamp. Old, uh, ultra -y kind of reminiscing here. But everything is squishier, right? So Rock Slide is definitely not going to be something that uh, Ninetales wants to see come in its way. So we got to be cautious about that. I do believe we shield this up just to be careful. It is a cross shot. Still would have hurt us quite a bit. And it does it does a lot of damage from Shadow Machamp. We're getting two shields. And so we're going to go ahead and swap into Toxicroak and start building up energy. And here is the example for you to see how much damage this does up against the Skarmory. There you go. Wow, I was missed. That's like 50%. Minus the, you know, the, the quick moves, of course, but that that's like 48, 44%, something like that. That was a lot, maybe even in half. Uh, so great. Now you know, right? If you're trying to run that. And bring it in the nine tails to hurry up and finish this thing off here because the things can get out of hand really quick with that. We have a shield left. Bring it in Machamp. Things are just playing perfect. I'm just praying there's no grass type, but that seems like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. Galarian Stunfisk, and that's a GG. Yeah, that's a GG. Or is it? You want to see something funny? Watch this. I'm like, I don't need the shield. I'm a flex. Yeah, lose poke, you stupid idiot. <laughs> yeah, that happened. You see that? Wow. I couldn't, but like, I wasn't even mad. I was just like, wow. Now that's what I get for not shielding. I wasn't trying to flex, honestly. What I, what my mindset was is they would bait and then come in with uh, Machamp and Cross Chop. So I needed that shield. So I wasn't really trying to flex. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> and we're up against the Jellison here again. We've seen this a hundred times, right? This actually, you know, it's a little different every time. You know, this time they're going bubble, 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 which I don't mind at all. All right. I'm not going to shield it up. Fine. Keep going your bubble ways. We're going to keep going like this here. Maybe it's bubble ice beam. Uh, but nonetheless, they got a strategy. Basically, if they go down here, whatever comes in is going to be able to take advantage of a debuffed attack Pokemon, and that's Galarian Stunfist. So we're instantly swapping into Swampert. I don't think I really meant to do that, but it was a, uh, I guess you could say, happy accident because, well, they're swapping into their Hypno with Confusion. Uh, Toxicroak would have just just went down on the ground and went to sleep. That's it. So beautiful. Happy accident. Okay. So we're going to continue on here. Shielding this up, it is a Shadow Ball. And what we want to do is win this matchup. Toxicroak simply cannot be here. That's it. Period. That's all. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to... Oh, no, no, nine tails. I think we're going to go in here and desperately try to farm it or something. There's... Okay. No, we go Toxicroak. Okay. Forgive me. I was thinking that we had counter. Of course, Poison Jab, we could have survived that, farmed it down, and then we'd have had the energy to take out the Galarian Stunfist. But it still worked out because, well, they swapped as soon as we came in. Oh, I was trying to go into nine tails to catch this. That would have been just beautiful. And they're going Earthquake. Down we go. In comes the Nine Tails. And I again, I screw up again. So I thought I had two Weather Balls here, but I was one Powder Snow away. Watch this. I'm like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Oh my freaking goodness. This thing hit it first and they take the win. Hey, can't even get mad at that. That was my own fault. Should have built up one extra Powdered Snow. Little mistakes like that and you're out of here. And we have a Frost Last. Got a little nervous about this one here. Can't even lie. So I'm thinking, hmm. I think we'll just let this go. It is a Shadow Ball. Gotta love that Nine Tails. You want a Dazzling Gleam? Yo, Frost Last. Let's see how much this does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, farm it down. Let's go. 
Beautiful. Threat out of the way. They have a Quagsire. If you're wondering, what in the heck? I mean, Quagsire is a good Pokemon. I mean, spicy. Very spicy. And you have all the poisons roaming around. It's got Stone Edge, Earthquake, hard-hitting moves. Its charge move is pretty good. Or its quick move is pretty good as far as the energy gain. So, yeah, definitely good Pokemon here. We're threatened by the Earthquake, so we're shielding that up. They have no more shields, and they're catching a... Uh, mud bomb with their swamper which is fine by me too because it's still neutral and doing good damage we're locked here so really nothing we can do don't think i would really want to shield this do we yeah letting it go sorry toxic croak it's just uh at this point in time it's going to be all about the swamper so uh we're going to have to really play i think we catch with the nine tails here i actually think we do so hydro okay good good throw cat oh beautiful that was it folks that was the win con that was it right there Okay, so yeah, we're building up a lot of energy here. Gonna go ahead and throw, not farm down because why would we do such a thing? They shield it up because there's energy. Building up to two more hydro cannons or maybe we need one more quick move to get to the next one like we usually like to do. Yeah, of course, I'm there, huh? Sure you are. So we're not gonna really hit all these bubbles. We take the win. Thank you for that catch. It was uh, the win con, right. On to the next battle, we're met with, oh, this is great, Gal oh, no, I was going to say Galarian, regular Stun Fisk. So it is going to be Ground Electric. We're doing super effective with Ice. They did catch the Weather Ball with their Skarmory, which, again, is still going to be a good matchup for me. So good, as a matter of fact, that I simply stay here because Toxicroak is it, weak to ground, but we also have Mud Bomb, which is super effective to the regular Stun Fisk, which is also part Electric with its dual typing of ground. Swampert is also super effective with this Water and its Quick Move, so... We're just going to hold our ground here. Simple as that. Shielding up this Braper. Good call. And now it's time for the farm down here. They did lower that defense. We're looking just perfect. Expecting that stun face to come in. We're going to go ahead and throw that weather ball. And I'm in a pretty good mood right now, folks. I just checked the audio. I've been stopping it periodically. But man, it's not as crisp as I would like it. But it's definitely not muffled. So back to the commentary here. We're looking good. Up against the Galvantula here, which we've done quite a bit in the uh, Ultra League with those XLs. Swapping into Swampert, uh, resisted by the Electric, right? Uh, Lunge is doing quite a pretty penny worth of damage, and that's okay. We were expecting that. We just needed to keep that Nine Tails safe. Taking them out there, Shieldless, and bringing in the, well, their last Pokemon. We're going to go for Hydro Cannon, which is super effective. Not quite KOing. They get to their charge move, and this is looking like a GG. If you did enjoy my video, folks, please give it a thumbs up. And maybe you want to try out Reverse Toxicro. Take care, traders. Finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!